I'm going to do some random pulls for a Japanese style mahjong, also known as reach. If you're new to this version, there are links below the video to a tutorial and also a lecture on strategy. It's a very sophisticated game and there are a lot of scoring elements, so it takes a while to learn. If you're just learning how to play, or if you already know how to play and want to improve your game, consider subscribing and click the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's do some random pulls. I think this is a really great way to learn all the different Yaku and also to practice making quicker decisions. I want to try to do six random pulls in 15 minutes. So that's why I have these counters here. I have a Hanshin indicator, so we'll alternate between east and south, and I'll also randomize which seat I'm in just to keep the variables fresh. So let's see what seat we're in. I rolled a five, so that would be seat one. And let's pull the Dora indicator. So we have a nine bam for Dora. And as dealer, I will get 14 tiles. Okay, let's see what might be a good Yaku for this random pull. Or multiple Yaku, you can stack. So we have a few honors, singles, not helpful. And then here we have BAMs, including a pair. Here's another pair. and then some isolated cracks. So I think these are all isolated here. There's a Chi right there, and Akadora, two Dora, right here with the nine Bam, because nine Bam is Dora. So I think I would get rid of these three and go for Pinfu and Reach as quickly as possible. We would need to draw in tiles to turn these into a pairs or cheese. I suppose this could be the pair, in which case we would need tiles around these four, but I would throw those away first. These are pretty well set. So that's what I would try here. Pinfu and reach as quickly as possible to try to get this Dora and Akadora score. Let me know in the comment section if you would do something different here. Okay. On to the next one, and it is south round now. Let's say we are seat seven, that is west. So I will put up a three. Okay, as a non-dealer, we'll get 13 tiles this time. Let's pull Dora. Nine bam, so one bam is Dora this time. Here we go. Oh, look, we have a one bam. We'll try to build around that for sure. And we have a pair of white dragons. There's a north. We have Akadora. So here's an actual Pung. Here's another pair. I think we should try for um, Toy Toy, all Pwn, all three of a kind. There's a pair, there's a Pwn right there. And here's a pair. We just need two more pair and we could play all pwn. It'd be nice if we could pair up that one and leverage Dora. I believe that's what I would do here. Toy Toy. If you would do something different, let me know. It's nice when it is so quick that way. Sometimes it takes a while to figure out what you're gonna do, but I think that's pretty clear. Toy Toy. And that Pwn of Dragons would be really nice. Score. Okay. 
back to East Round, third one. And we are going to be this time in seat five, which is East. So we got that there. Let's pull Dora. Three crack is Dora this time. We get 14 tiles. Three crack is Dora. No three crack in here. This is the east round and we are seat east. We have a pair of souths here. So I don't know if that's going to be helpful or not. The only way it'll really be helpful is if we go for a half flush which means we would have six discards. So we have only one other pair in here. Let's see what the chi potential is. I might even sacrifice that south. These are isolated, isolated. There's some chi potential here. Of course, chi potential in there. So we have six discards if we go for a half flesh. If we went for Pinfu again and reach, we'd have three discards getting rid of the honors and hope to tie these isolated tiles in with picks. I think that's probably a better start having three discards as opposed to six because we could really only act on two sets here. Pwn the south, chi the five, six. That would leave two discards for each of those actions and leaving us with four discards as opposed to picking and hopefully tying into some chi potential with three discards. I think I would go ahead and try for Pinfu with all these. Maybe even get rid of the nines and try for all simples. Hold on to these for the end. So get rid of these first and then these and see if maybe more chi potential comes in with all the simples. Let me know if you would do something different here. Okay, back to south, and I rolled a six, so this time we're in seat three. So we have non dealer this time. Let's draw Dora. One BAM again. No Dora. We have three single honors here. So there's a one, two, three, three, five, two, three, nine. Maybe we could play a mixed triple chi. Here's a one, two, three, three, two, three. So I would say again, pin foo and reach with the potential of a pure double chi. If we got uh, one bam, two bam, one crack, maybe. The one bam would be really nice too because it would be Dora. So I think that would be a good plan. I think I would try that. Pinfu reach potential long shot with pure double chi. Or I'm sorry, mixed triple chi. Did I say pure double chi? Mixed triple chi. Two, one, two, three in each suit. Get rid of those first. And you know what though? If we got all simples, we could even get rid of those. Kind of the same thing as the last hand. Go for all simples also. I would definitely get rid of those first and hold on to these and see what happens. 
If you would do something different, write it in the comment section. And we're back to east round. Oh no, I'm sorry. Let's see. Yeah, that's east. So east round, I rolled a 11. 8, 9, 10, 11 is west. So we're going to say we're in seat west. Oops. Non-dealers get 13 tiles. Oh, let's draw Dora. Five crack is Dora. No Dora again. And only one honor. Oh no, two honors. There's a north. Okay, so we have a pawn of five bam and a pair of ones. So I think for this one, we could try for half flush. We'd have five discards for half flush. And really I'm thinking that because we have a pair and a pawn and no other pairs. So I think I would go for a half flush or all pwn if I could pair up and I just start by getting rid of these. That's what I would do here. If you would play pin foo on this one, let me know. I mean, there is potential chi, potential chi. I suppose that could be a pair. These would have to be broken up and we'd have to get threes, fours, and sixes, sevens, three, four, six, seven in BAMs in order to split these out. So I suppose if we went for pin foo and plan to split these out, we would only have three discards. I think what I would do is start by discarding those. No, no, no. I think I would go for, I would go for a half flesh. If you would do something different, let me know. I like playing big hands, so I'm always tempted to go for half flesh. We are on south round. This will be the last one. I rolled a five. So that means we are the dealer. We get 14 tiles this time. Okay. Seven crack is Dora. And there's no Dora in here. And we have three honors singles. That's not good. And then we have all these number tiles with, let's see what the chi potential is here. There's a little chi potential in there. I'm thinking pin foo and reach again. Um, I mean, there is a potential for drawing in or using Dora with this six, eight, nine there. There's a potential chi, potential chi, potential chi. Here's Akadora. Maybe that could be the pear tile. Who knows? So I think I would go ahead and try for pin foo and reach and get rid of these honors. There's only three of them and they're isolate. I mean, yeah, they're all singles and there is chi potential. One, two, three, four, four chis. Let's see if we have any two sided weights, middle weight, middle weight, outside weight. We would have to draw in some, something to give us the two sided weight we need. Maybe at two bam, four bam, six bam, 
three crack, five crack, who knows. But in here, maybe we could make a two-sided weight with our picking. So I think that's what I would do here. Pinfu and reach. Seems like a lot of these random pulls were for pinfu. But when you get number tiles with few honor tiles and honor tiles that are not paired up, seems like the best option. Do you play pinfu a lot? I do see that at mahjong time quite often. You can tell when people start throwing away honors right away, more times than not, they're playing pinfu. And sometimes you can't tell what they need. You got to really watch their discard pile to decide what your own plan of action is so that you don't throw away their winning tile and set yourself up for success. It's one of the reasons why I enjoy this game so much. It's very flexible and very strategic. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn some new strategies or maybe gain an insight into the game that will give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Reach, may all your picks be keepers.